What if 3i slash ATLAS isn't leaving? What if it's staying? Right here in our solar system? Imagine that an object born in another star system, drifting for millions of years, across the cosmic dark, suddenly deciding to stop right beside our sun. It's not supposed to be possible. Nothing traveling at interstellar velocity ever slows down enough to stay. The laws of motion, the pull of gravity, the math, it all says no. But what if just this? Once the universe whispered yes, because something about 3i slash at L doesn't add, the angles, the timing, the brightness, it's all wrong. And as October 29th approaches, the day it vanishes behind the sun, more and more, scientists are asking the same haunting question. What if it's not passing through? What if it's making a home? It's been weeks since 3i slash at L made its eerie flyby of Mars, leaving behind a trail of plasma and confusion. What started as a passing interstellar visitor has now turned into something far stranger. Every instrument, every telescope, every line of data seems to point toward one impossible idea. That 3-2 slash Atlas is not trying to escape our solar system. It's trying to stay. After the Mars encounter, NASA's orbital tracking teams noticed something no one could explain. The comet's velocity began to shift subtly at first as though an invisible hand was adjusting its trajectory. Nothing chaotic, nothing random, smooth, deliberate, and calculated. The kind of change that defies natural motion. It was supposed to continue outward, slingshotting around the sun and heading back to the void between stars. But instead it began angling inward, tracing a curve. That would take it dangerously close to the sun itself. At first, scientists thought it was just solar radiation, pressure or outgassing jets, but those would make the path messy and even unpredictable. This was precise, too. Precise, as though 3i slash L knew what it was doing. As it moved closer to the sun, new data came in from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. What they saw didn't match any comet model ever recorded. The tail wasn't extending outward the way comets normally behave. It seemed to bend around, folding in on itself, forming a spiral shape that followed the gravitational curve of the sun. It looked more like a maneuver than a meltdown. Experts from Harvard and Caltech ran simulations. The math showed that if 3i slash adjusted its speed by just a fraction, Less than one kilometer per second, it could slow down enough to be captured by the sun's gravity. Instead of flying out forever, it would fall into a bound orbit. That means one thing, permanence. It would stay inside our solar system forever, looping endlessly like a silent alien moon of the sun. For a natural object, this kind of capture is nearly impossible. A hyperbolic interstellar body carries too much energy to be stopped by gravity alone. It needs an external force, an impulse, a correction. Something or someone would have to slow it down. And if that's true, then 3 slash isn't just a rock and ice visitor. It's something else entirely. The weeks leading to its perihelion were tense. Earth, every major observatory went on, full alert. The James Webb Telescope, the Hubble, the Vera Rubin Observatory all turned their eyes toward the sun's edge, waiting to see what would happen as Atlas made its closest approach. On October 29th, it vanished from visual detection. The sun swallowed it whole for several hours. No signal, no reflection, no data, just silence. But then something happened deep in the heart of the solar corona. Instruments recorded a localized distortion, a ripple of magnetic flux that didn't correspond to any solar flare or coronal mass ejection. The distortion lasted for minutes, 